Hey guys and girls, welcome back to some uh, tour of the Golden Country. We're on our way to um, to Torgoth to find um, Laura's mom. I did some grinding. Um, got our team to I think uh, Adam is 16, and uh, Laura and her team are 17. So I figured that's okay for now. Part of me wanted to kind of get to 20, at least, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, okay. I thought there would be some talky talks, but no talky talks. It's fine. Said if we just follow the path, Whoa. right? So it should be are. over here. Right. I say we rest a bit. Torgoth Arch. Ooh. Rip. So it was hit by Malos or looters. Oh, no. Here too. Gormot's an attractive target, but this. Whoever did this clearly had no compassion or respect for the people they killed. Well, whether it was Malos or someone else, either way, clearly they're all toast. Mithra. <laughs> Laura. It's... it's okay. Mother could have run away somewhere safe. She could have. Or she's toast. Look, fresh graves over here. This kind soul must have dug them all. Mm, dug some graves before he passed on. <laughs> What's wrong? Should... Should we maybe bury him too? Yes, let's. He's seeing her little signs of humanity and is like, uh, yeah, I, sure. Oh, her mom. The, the necklace is similar to what she wears, right? She did die. <laughs> 
Thank you, Jen. I'm all right now, really. Are you sure? If you're trying to put on a brave face, then... It's fine. It's fine. Hey, guys. Do you think we could go back to the village? Did you notice something? No, nothing like that. I was just thinking maybe we could bring back something to offer to the rest of the graves, besides Mother. They were all burned to ashes. Is there really any point? Really? We didn't find anything last time. Alright, we can all look together. If it helps give you closure. Surround them. Uh oh. Ardanian troops. Imperial Guard. Thieving scum. Don't think you're gonna get away with your dirty deeds. What? No. What? We just problem, Captain. Oh, look who it is. Bridget was a treat. Take out the, the army dudes first, and we'll worry about her. Got you. Hey, Bridget, what's up? For my Hitting an enemy with a special begins a blade combo. Okay. You're beating us, you're beating us. You wish you were, Bridget. Come on. Wrecking house, damn. Hell yeah. Keep going like that, you'll get a reputation. 
Cheap, you say? Don't be absurd. It's called tactics, look it up. But perhaps that's something a simpleton like yourself could never hope to comprehend. <laughs> uh, a simpleton? Your attacks scream it. Uh, Clumsy, heavy, no refinement. Everyone is just haunting Mithra. Go easy on you, but now, now you have pissed me off. Uh, Mithra, stop! We've got children here. What was that? If that had actually hit me. Oh, <laughs> didn't like that, did you? I can see it on your face. Well, on that note. Mistra! Hayes! Understood. <laughs> what? Adam plainly ordered you to stop, or didn't you hear him, Simpleton? Damn! <laughs> Everyone is just like. How extraordinary! Shut I'd up, heard of lady. A blade with the power to restrain others, but I never thought. And did she say Adam? It can't be. All of you, lay down your arms. Look who it is. There is no need for this. He looks like um the one from two. Like he's the emperor, isn't he? At least I think he was. I'm pretty sure. He's just like, smiley face. It's good to see you again, Prince Adam. Please forgive the actions <clears throat> of my guards. Don't you worry about it. I am just glad to see you well, your Imperial Majesty. Imperial Majesty? May I introduce the Emperor of Mor Ardain, Hugo Ardenach. The Ardanian Emperor? What's someone of his station doing out here? You know, our stations are fairly similar. Not that you'd ever know. Thanks. I try. I've come for the Aegis. Its actions have been felt in Morardain as well. We're currently chasing it down. The same as us, then. But coming here yourself... My brother is ruling in my absence. I see. And so you brought Bridget and Aegean. Huh? Those two are the crown jewels of the Ardanian forces. Wielding them on the front lines is the duty of he who has the throne. Indeed. That ought to have been my older brother. But he didn't have the potential to become a driver. And now, here you are, bonded with both of them. The Special Inquisitor is under my brother's direct command. Oh. Should I fall in battle, he has his orders to retrieve the core crystals. That sounds cold. That's how it goes with matters of state. Very true, because these are like... Special. It works out well persons. for me. I have always wanted to put myself on the line for our people. Another voice. That does this one thing about um. Wielding authority in the first place. Chronicles two that uh, threw me off a lot. 
is that a lot of the characters' faces look like. Yes, that. If Prince Zetar knew, there would be consequences. It looked like they have That's like the wrong faces for their voices. <laughs> you two will never see eye to eye. Better to leave well enough alone. Ruling is, frankly, it's a scary thought. Just imagine becoming someone you don't recognize. Never knowing who's looking back at you in the mirror. Prince Adam. I'd be happy if you called me Hugo, like old times. I will, dear Hugo, but only if you call me Adam in return. <laughs> well, it would be beneficial to share our findings, but perhaps elsewhere might be better? How about your majesty's flagship? Indeed. Flagship. Is something the matter, Lady Laura? I I'm just... Not very good in that kind of stuffy environment. Well, you're not alone there. That's the worst. Right? I think I'll sit this particular venture out. Yeah, I'm out too. Oh, no, you don't. Wait a minute. Is that her? Yes. The Aegis? This is Mithra, one of the Aegises. <sighs> Your account would be valuable as well, Laura. Everything I've seen or heard, Jin will know as well. Uh, uh yes, that's true. Is she gonna send Jin? Please, would you go instead of me, please? <laughs> of course, I will do as you wish. Thank you kindly. Well then, shall we? <clears throat> well then, my friends, shall we make a move? Your Majesty, th this may not be my position to say, but would it not be wise to first investigate the location we spoke of? Yes, you do raise a valid point. Agaon, please consider His Majesty's feelings. He wishes for quality time to spend with his dear friend Prince Adam. I'm honored that you value me so highly. But I think this is a decision best left to Hugo. What do you say? Would that be getting in the way of your mission? N no, no. Not in, the, not in the slightest. In fact, I believe you are just as much involved in this whole affair as us. But with your traveling alongside the Aegis, that much is clear. So this mission of yours has something to do with Malos. Exactly so. Aegean, would you? Of course. By official decree, allow me to formally disclose to you the nature of our mission. On the surface, we have traveled here to work on diffusing diplomatic tensions between the Empire and Sia. So Soea. But at the same time, there is another matter we are investigating. And that, I presume, is Malos. So what are you going to do? Take him down? Capture him? <coughs> Excuse me. At the present time, neither. It is His Majesty's wish to ascertain the intent of this Malos, and indeed, anyone who wishes our Empire arm. Then I assume new intelligence has come to light. The Fourth Decade, reported in... G decade. Is it Decade? I don't know. The, fir the Fourth Decade, reported in, just as you were on your way to Torgoth. They had discovered an area of land that had been scorched black by some colossal power. I don't think Adam's going to want to ignore that one. You read my mind. Hugo, as much as I'd enjoy reminiscing out on the Cloud Sea, I'd quite like to enjoy some more of the scenery first. Of course, if you like, we can take a side trip before we return to the, tr the ship. Laura, is this wise? I still want to decorate the grave, so I'll wait for you in the village. Everything will be fine. Hayes is with me, after all. That's right. Please, take as much time as you need. All right. Maybe it's for the best that she doesn't get to see the extent of Malice's devastation. So you say the fourth decade found traces of Malice's destruction, and that would be where? It would appear to be at Valafum Hill, heading inland from Ordia Great Plains. From here, it's probably even closer than the harbor.
Indeed. Then this is where we must go. Perhaps you can entertain us with tales of your adventures as we make our way, Adam. Power unimaginable. We're such saps. Rude. <laughs> uh, yes. Hey, we got ourselves t Team Hugo. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. So, is it just gin? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Let's go to this place then. A part of me wants to level some more. <laughs> now that I have Hugo and he's only 15, but... Um, I think we should be okay with our party. If we must. Gonna battle? I congratulate you on your rousing success. If I have succeeded, it is only because I fight shoulder to shoulder with the greatest heroes I have ever known. Your Majesty, you're so. Modest. <laughs> are, are those tears? You're so honest. Here we go. Your Majesty. Buster, lay down. I got my dog to trip right now. That's a big level 30 something. We don't want to deal with him. Hopefully he doesn't aggro. Okay. I'm going to throw down the save. Valifum Hill. Tell me, you finally found the un un uninhabited Titan? That's right. Made it there without a scratch. The map, the Bard's song, the Elder's legend, it was all true. But I wish you could have had some of that fun after you bonded with me. No fair. Of course, back then I had no idea that I'd be the driver of an Aegis someday. Not a clue. And I also had no idea that I'd end up with a Blade who was so hungry for experience. I mean, I prefer it when you have something interesting to say. I choose to take that as a compliment. Well, sure. It was hardly boring discovering that legendary uninhabited titan. The natives gave us a fine chase. Natives? I thought you said it was uninhabited. Well, to be precise, we didn't meet any humans there. Just some monsters of the arachno, antle, and skeeter variety. Cool. And they were a pretty huge specimen, too. We must have looked like extra tempting appetizers to them. There were really quite a lot of them. We were lucky to get off the Titan in one piece. Ah, a fine recompense. For an adventurer's heart. So your plan to build a holiday villa there came to nothing. It's more than a little tragic. Well, I mean, that wasn't the primary aim. 
Perhaps I didn't get a material reward, but I certainly got a spiritual one. Things didn't work out quite well for my playmates, though. How so? It was a kind of paradise for insects, but I heard later that it was laid to waste by someone or other. The ways of human are often cruel. What's done is done. It was a time of war, and they had to find a place of some refuge. But the monsters couldn't have grasped that. They probably just saw arrogant humans wrecking their home. Ah, the telling of it falls hard upon my ears. Your Majesty, forgive my interruption, but this appears to be the location mentioned in the report. Ah, so we're here. The journey passed as the blink of an eye, thanks to Adam's enchanting tales. If your servant's humble recounting was able to relieve your imperial tedium, truly the most blessed of men am I. Oh, I do wish you'd cut it out, Adam. I'm not your better, and you should know it. I wouldn't be so sure of that, Hugo, old friend. Now then, Mithra, I'd really like to get your opinion on this as the Aegis. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this isn't Malice's handiwork. How did you come to that conclusion? Malice's attacks would have melted the earth and turned it into glass. But whatever did this only scorched the grass. It can't have been such a high temperature. That's a very wise deduction. We're lucky to have you for an ally. I offer my apologies to you all for leading you to this disappointing conclusion. Nay, Aegean. We could not have known without further investigation. With each possibility we discard, we move all to closer to our goal. Everyone, look there. It's a big one. Indeed, we cannot let it run riot. Just think of the damage it could do if it got to Lascom Cove, a settlement. Everyone, get to it. We must. Let's do it. Ah, uh, get up, get up, get up. A fire-spewing monster. It's a good thing we had a gay in the, on hand. Perhaps it's bold of me to say, but I've dealt with worse. Well, it seems safe to assume that this was the cause of the burn marks. I would never have dreamed that such a foul fiend could have lain in wait so close to Torgoth. Maybe it was driven out of its original home in a territorial dispute. I've heard that happen from time to time. Yeah, maybe. Or more likely some human stole or smashed it up, its home up. We call them monsters, but to them, we are the monsters. Indeed, it must be thus. The day shall dawn where man's exploitation of the titans will bring us all to ruin. Perhaps that dawn is already upon us. Perhaps indeed. This is, uh, the Praetor, right? Look at Amalthus. He looks so weird younger.
He was Malice's dri uh, Interesting driver. Thing you've got there. Malice, enough. It's all right. Indol's most sacred treasure, the Aegis. It is said to be the embodiment of the Architect's light, the divine revelations our founder Maldonare received. Really? Then... That's what I will be called too. After all, I am born of divinity, not just some reflection. You believe yourself so strong? <laughs> Don't you? Your situation doesn't look good. Baltric is not going to let it go. Hmm. And you can't hide behind the Praetor forever. That has nothing to do with you. If that were true, you wouldn't be here. Hmm. Tasty secret, formerly known only to the Praetor and me. The essence of our Judician forebears, originally salvaged from the bottom of the Cloud Sea. Some of it may hail from the fabled land of Moritha. Moritha? Look. This here display is a diagram of what human cells are made of. And then this one here is a blades. It's identical. They alike. Of course. After all, they are descended from humans, too. That in and of itself isn't too shocking. But this... It's the same, isn't it? Just wait. That, that's a core crystal. Exactly. A blade's core crystal contains information not only pertaining to humans. It also records schematics describing all manner of animal tissues. You're saying blades contain detailed information of all living creatures. Not just that. Have a look at this undeveloped part. That is from a titan. It suggests that this particular piece may one day develop into a titan. Damn. Isn't it mind-boggling? A message from the architect, no doubt. From the We knew this though, cause right? I I cause Indeed. This is just what you were after. Blades had like dormant memories of everything. And learn more of what the architect has in store for this world. And perhaps claim this knowledge for our own. Including the Praetor. Perhaps. Hmm. Isn't this in line with your own goals? Well then, I may as well help out. I believe that concludes my mission. Shall we head to the flagship? Fine by me. It's a good place for us to exchange information. It's more at Lascombe Cove. 
Power unimaginable completed. Give me a shout next time something happens. Bam ba da bam 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 ba da da ba da ba. Love the world, man. It's so nice. So it was the Sian forces that ravaged this area. Yes. Many troops remained here with no orders after Malos sank their homeland. We're doing our best to disarm them, but... Well, you've seen the village. Sadly, it's happened more than once. The powers that be bicker among themselves, ignoring the larger danger. <gasps> and right now... That is the one thing we cannot afford. I will go take a look. Incidentally, how has Torna been faring? I'd like to tell you that the people bask in the peace of His Majesty's rule. But I'm afraid that would be a lie. Same as everywhere else, then. Yes? Torna has not escaped Malos's rampage unscathed. If that is so, allow me to offer you the Imperial Army's assistance in this time of... Don't worry about it. This is exactly the reason why Indol entrusted her to me. Ah, so you came. The future king of Torna. I'm glad I thought to send a messenger. King, don't joke about it. Rumors like that could cause trouble at home. I am merely a quester. I hold no such influence. A quester today, but tomorrow? The core's color is different. And she's a woman, too. Mm. Quite lovely indeed. Malos was all brawn and brutish strength. You worry? No, quite the contrary. Everybody knows a blade's appearance bears no relation to their power. You could be the heroine of our resistance. No, I won't be anyone's anything. That's fine now. I have only one thing to ask of you. To rectify the mistake I made. And erase Malos from the face of the world. So that's why... The returning hero, pacifier of the Borderlands, was really just... Never before has a blade broken free and rampaged like this. I can see why Indol would prefer to keep it quiet. They're even rooting support to the militia through Argentum for deniability. And then towards you. I'm just some princeling. Me. Surely, if you defeat Malos, your cover will be blown. If, indeed. But we're not in it for the glory, are we? When we're done, I'll just plow my fields in peace. Your Majesty. 
Some of our troops have returned to base, but... Is something wrong? They're all reporting something strange. A marauding group of routed mercenaries, trying to avoid any attention. Just remnants, hmm? That is strange. There's not much around here for them, in the way of paid work or opportunities for looting. As your majesty commanded, our men did not engage. We confirmed their bearing, then withdrew. And? Where were they going? The village outskirts. But why there? There's nothing but graveyards. <laughs> what the? Oh no. At first, I thought to take it. But I'd made it for her, and I'd like her to keep it forever. So, the bitch is dead, is she? Shime, I had a soft spot for her. <laughs> ha! Guess you learned how to use a weapon, at least. Big change from a tiny kid trying not to piss herself in fear. You're... No! God! You remember me? How touching. A face that ugly, I couldn't forget. Trust me, I tried. Hush! What do you want? Not that I can't imagine. I'm here to take back what's mine, kid. But before that, I'll take He's crazy! to express my gratitude to you. It ain't gonna be pretty or quick. Then I'll make that blade watch as I cut you into little sticky chunks. Just to make sure the last thing he feels is complete despair. I'll hold them up. You get to the others quickly. No use. Hayes, he knew about you. He brought no blades, just more mugs. Exactly. Don't worry. I'm gonna treat you real good before I get to the cutting. Uh oh. He knew, uh, yeah, because he knew Hayes would be able to stop any blades. <laughs> okay, it's just me and her. Heads up, people! We can do it if we work together. Here comes the party. Not working. Let's take these dudes out. Hey you are dead, strong. I got it. Why? Thanks. Here comes the party. Yeah. Gotcha. I don't know who they messing with. Should have brought more dudes.
Astounding. I fight for my friends. Think you can run? Again, girly. You're starting to piss me off. Oi! Surround them so they don't...